Hello and welcome friends, Frenzy here, bringing you Kerbal Space Program Mod Overview. Today we just have a quick mod overview, quicker than normal I guess, um, but we're looking at Flight Indicator. Flight Indicator is pretty cool, um, there's a lot of things you can kind of use it for, but I say the main thing that I really enjoy out of it is the um, kind of the vector, the pro, -grade, pro and retrograde vector you get out of it, particularly the prograde as it relates to um, landing. I think it is very useful as you'll see here. If you're a big fan of you know shuttle style where you glide in, you have really no real ability to kind of have a powered you know flight. You know it's very useful for getting yourself down kind of where you where you need to be because it's it's can be a challenge to kind of know you know particularly when you take into factor things like drag when you're using far as well as uh, some other factors as well. You know where you're going to kind of end up, and so the prograde vector, as you'll see there, kind of gives you an idea of you know where your ship is going to kind of end up in the long run. You know where it's going to eventually touch down or hit the ground, so you can make adjust adjustments accordingly, which is always a plus there. Um, and I'm just kind of flying around here, just showing you uh, how it all works. It's pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. A you know, very simple, quick mod, but really one that's beneficial if you like to do any flying. And uh, as you'll see at the end, I have some outtakes because I'm I'm not that good at flying. And then I put together this little plane in a pretty short amount of time, so it was not the most stable plane, as you can see here, me kind of fluttering around. But um, yes, yeah, so don't mind all the editing of me crashing, which you'll see a little bit at the end. But a very useful mod. Um, so hopefully you go ahead, you should check it out. Uh, since we have a little bit of time here too, I'll say you should definitely check out, um, I think I'm going to do when 1.0 comes out, which sounds like it's kind of on the horizon. Uh, if you'd seen uh, Max Maps Twitter, you know, there's a Kerbal Countdown, which sounds pretty ominous, but in a good way for you know, the 1.0 release, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, so I think I might do kind of a a mini series like a 1.0 stock mini series just to try to unlock the tech tree see some of the new things and new features and just kind of go through the science tree and kind of go through that um, i'd like to do i'm going to do a bigger series um, span the solar system when 1.0 comes out but i figured i would uh maybe do something to start off before that you know looking at the stock kind of feature so you can kind of look forward to enjoying that uh, as I land here, as you see, the prograde vector, very useful for kind of knowing where you're going to end up. And we're just kind of coming to a solid break here. You know, nothing nothing too fancy, a nice little calm landing. <laughs> Although you did notice the editing of me crashing. Uh, I had to edit that out a little bit because, uh, you know, got to keep it nice and, nice and cool, make me look like I'm a good pilot, which I'm really not that great of a pilot. Uh, or I'm, I'm definitely not that good at making planes, I think I would say more than anything. And you can see here, yeah, me crashing, which is always fun. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did like this video, go ahead and tap that like button, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, and go ahead and tell your friends too. Bring them along too, I'd love to have them aboard as well. And finally, I'd love to hear your comments, your suggestions, so go ahead and do so down below. And hopefully we'll see you next time.